Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good evening. Please welcome Madame Micheline Camire. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes réunis dans cet auditoire pour attribuer un prix, le prix Martin Hénals, qui récompense l'engagement tout entier d'une personne en faveur des droits humains. Les personnes qui luttent pour les droits humains prennent des risques. Et vous le savez, elles ont besoin de protection. Mesdames et Messieurs, je suis heureuse de vous compter parmi celles et ceux qui soutiennent les défenseurs et les défenseuses des droits humains et vous remercie de votre présence et de votre attention. Merci beaucoup. Genève, comme vous le savez, est une ville profondément marquée par l'humanisme et par la défense des droits humains, ce que Robert de Tra a nommé l'esprit de Genève, un mélange de Rousseau, de Calvin et de Dunant. Il n'y a pas de hasard enfin si l'Université de Genève est désormais l'hôte récurrent de la cérémonie des, de remise du prix Martin Hénals. C'est donc un très grand honneur pour moi, pour toute notre université, de vous accueillir aujourd'hui pour cette cérémonie. Je vous souhaite, mesdames et messieurs, une très bonne soirée et me réjouis une fois de plus de pouvoir être avec vous ensemble pour célébrer cette remise des prix Martin Hénals. Merci beaucoup de votre attention. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight to recognize the work of three outstanding human rights defenders and groups. They have been selected by a jury of 10 human rights organizations from among many impressive nominees. It was not easy to choose the three finalists and even harder to designate a laureate from among them. I congratulate Mohamed Zari on being selected as the 2017 Martin Ennals Laureate. This is Sylvain Salerno, who is the uh, Deputy Mayor of the City of Geneva, will now hand the award to Son Vate. She is Yili Soxan's daughter, and Un Bunari, who is Lin Moni's daughter. They will receive the award and speak on behalf of uh, Free to Five Eight Kids. I am standing here on behalf of my father and the other four and they are the obligation not to allow to go out from the Cambodia and also they are under the pressure of the government of Cambodia. We are really proud of our parents because we are standing on the international stage today to represent the five. They are not doing anything wrong and their job was recognizing by the international human rights in the world. And at the end, fight for human rights and fight for democracy for Cambodia. Thanks for your attention. And now to give Ms. Carla Avalar her award, as she is with us fortunately this evening, I will ask her and Mr. Michel Forsty, UN Special Rapporteur and Human Rights Defenders, to please both come and sing. Deseo iniciar este discurso agradeciendo a mi madre y a mi abuela, admirables mujeres, que me heredaron mis principios y valores. Agradezco a los y las activistas que me han acompañado en esta lucha, tanto en el, el pasado como en la actualidad. Este discurso lo doy en memoria de más de 600 personas LGBTI que han sido asesinadas en mi país con lujo de barbarie desde 1993 a la fecha. Y todos estos 600 asesinatos se encuentran en total impunidad porque mi Estado se niega a reconocer la identidad o las orientaciones diferentes a las heterosexuales. Me sigo You know, Carla, it's extraordinary to watch your story. In El Salvador, you have been subjected to repeated threat, to discrimination, violence, just because of who you are. 
Still, with immense courage, you have mobilised support for the rights of people of all forms of identity. In the context of Cambodia, the leadership your parents and their friends are providing is extraordinary. It's essential that we as an international community stand beside your parents and their friends. And so to come to our laureate, if I might, your wonderful husband was accused of intending to harm Egypt because of his role in assisting this human rights mechanism we call the Universal Periodic Review. We must stand with you. We must notice, document, monitor, denounce and hold Egypt to the promises it's freely made. Human rights defenders, empower them, support them, celebrate them, honour them, join them. Thank you. We have Mohamed Zaria live with us, so please welcome him first. for honoring my husband today. It means so much to us and raise the separates of our children who now see who their father is, what he does, and what he and his colleagues in the Egyptian rights movement are facing. Thank you for your support, and I hope this support for my husband and his comrades continues. Thank you very much. I'm deeply honored and grateful to be recognized by the esteemed Martin Ennis Award and profoundly humbled to be nominated beside defenders like Carla Adler and Frieza 5KH. You really inspire me and dare us all to dream about a better tomorrow. Thank you for your courage. This award belongs to the many Egyptian human rights defenders. The Egyptian human rights movement is a part of a global human rights movement and the global movement is also under threat. And so we must begin to come together from all regions of the world and stand side by side if we are to emerge stronger from this critical moment in history. Thank you very much once again for this honor and I look forward to work with all of you for a better tomorrow. Thank you very much. Mesdames et Messieurs, chers amis, euh, bon, j'ai un magnifique discours, mais je crois que ce soir, je n'arriverai pas à le lire. De partout sur la planète, des hommes et des femmes euh, ont cette force intérieure si incroyable qu'ils arrivent à se mobiliser, à porter des combats essentiels pour des droits fondamentaux, au Salvador, pardon, euh, en, euh, en Égypte euh, et euh, au Cambodge, euh, avanceront. Merci à toutes et tous profondément d'être venu ce soir. Well, this year's Martin Nails Award for Human Rights Defender Ceremony has now officially come to a conclusion, to an end. Thank you again very much for showing your support, which is of course always um, appreciated more than that, it's needed. And thank you very much. Bye-bye now.